Hey guys, my name is Nick, and today we are going to be playing through part 9 of my playthrough of Pikmin for the GameCube in 1080p. Uh, it's day 17, I believe. Yes, it's day 17. We've got 18 parts and a lot of Pikmin, and we have finished off the first two levels, and we are close to finishing off the third level, the Forest Naval, which is where we were last episode, and if you remember, we were just building a bridge to get to some bomb rocks that we're going to use yellow Pikmin to grab, and we're going to blow up this wall to get to the last part. And it's probably going to be something terrifying happening as usual. So we're just going to go back to the forest naval and we're going to get that last part. So what I'm probably going to do is just pull out some yellow pigment. Uh, maybe 20 so we can build this bridge. But we will see uh, if the bridge has unbuilt itself. Or if all the monsters have respawned. Because if those fire breathing guys have respawned. Oh, so help me God. <laughs> um, okay. So where are we going to go? We are going to go down here, and there is a... Get out of there. Okay, so there's a... A black stone wall and a regular stone wall, which means you need... I swear! <laughs> They're like little kids. Always tripping over. So there's a black stone wall, and a grey stone wall there. Uh, looks like we don't have any fire-breathing guys left, which is a very good thing. I don't know where that... Okay, that's our bridge... Can they build it from this side? Doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna have to chuck my yellow guys down here. And they should start building this bridge from the other side, I believe. And kaboom, it's done. Cool. Alright, so we'll grab our yellow guys. We'll get these bomb rocks here. And we'll try very hard not to accidentally kill ourselves because that is always a risk when I'm playing this game. Is there an extra rock? Holy... Whoa, there is a lot of rocks in there. Wow, okay, so almost all of my- <laughs> Okay, cool, so we have got a veritable kind of Pikmin nuke here on our hands. Um, so we're gonna use that to blow up all the rock doors that we need to blow up, and I'm not gonna go near that frog thing because I'm going to become so mad that I will probably smash my computer if I- Oh god! Okay, so we're not gonna deal with those guys right now. We're gonna have a look at the map. So. There's a million rock walls everywhere. Hmm. But I really only need to destroy the bottom one. Really. To get to the pot. Okay, so what we'll do... Is we'll go down this way. Hopefully we can... Oh god! Run, little guys! Okay, we cool for the moment. We cool. Um, so we've got a, a fire thing here. That is probably gonna kill all of our Pikmin. There's one bomb. Uh, kaboom. So this requires two bombs at each level to blow up? Yeah, looks like it. Wow, okay. So this- I need six bombs to destroy these walls. Luckily I didn't go for the, um, for that dark grey wall first. But anyway, I'm gonna try and not throw my Pikmin over the back and blow them up like I kept doing in the last episode. I mean, not the last episode, several episodes ago. Okay, so we get get a kaboom. Nice explosion in there. Try and not set all our guys on fire. We got a part in here that is potentially a boss and could potentially result in the horrible, grisly deaths of all these Pikmin here. So, Oh god! Oh god, okay. There's special music for that guy. Oh god. Uh... Okay. Um... That wall's been destroyed. Do I have enough Pikmin to blow up this thing? This guy's gonna try and eat me. Oh god. Okay. Grab all of these guys. These Pikmin, they can fight by themselves. They're, they're cool. Oh god. Kill! Kill! Are they all getting eaten? Oh god. These guys are idiots. I'm just trying to use the- use up the rest of these bomb rocks. Whoop. There goes another little guy. Ah, oh, this- this mission has not been good for troop morale. 
Okay, so I'm going to kill these guys. No, 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 <laughs> don't pick up the things. Oh, God. They're so dumb. Yes, kill, 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 kill. <laughs> yes, I do think that by some miracle, yelling kill at the screen is going to somehow help me. Kill him, kill him. Well, that didn't go so well for me. I lost 13 guys there. On the plus side, though. I blew up this gate, which means it's going to be a lot easier for me to get down to where this boss is. So, I'm just going to go in. I'm going to see if I can deal him some damage. It looks like I have to throw... And I have to try and not get stepped on. Oh, God. Well. No, get off there. No, pick mine is so dumb. <laughs> So we'll throw guys onto this middle thing. Huh. So the trick to killing this guy is actually looks like it's gonna be just using a bunch of little guys. Bunch of yellow guys. Keeping them in the center so they don't get stepped on. Oh god. Yeah, get in here. So it seems like the key to most of the bosses in these games is actually just not using very many pi uh, Pikmin at a time. Because as soon as you start to use a lot of guys, you stop being able to control them properly and they just end up getting squished or eaten or set on fire or something like that. <laughs> so it seems that although it's heaps slower, it's usually better to just use a few guys for this kind of stuff because it means that if you make a big mistake, firstly, you're not gonna just lose everything. And secondly, um, it's much easier to control all of them. I say that, but I still suck. Okay, so they're all up there now. Doing him some good damage. So far he's failing at shaking these guys. So I think I'm just gonna wait until... Wow, this is actually much easier than I expected it to be. But they automatically, the Pikmin automatically go and try and attack the legs. I, oh god, I'm just missed with all of them. Without 3D, it's actually really hard to get an idea of depth perception in this kind of thing. Like, that's one of the things that I really like about the 3DS. When you actually do have the concept of where something is in terms of forwards and backwards on the screen, not just left and right. I'm gonna be able to kill these guys, kill this guy with seriously seven, seven, or five yellow Pikmin. <laughs> okay. Get off those legs. Get up there. Yeah, kill. Kill! <laughs> That's gonna be my strategy from now on. The way, the way to kill bosses is just to yell kill while, while pressing all the buttons. I know that's how I used to play fighting games. Die! Die! <laughs> Yelling stuff like that. Okay. And kapow! This weird big toy monster thing's dead. God satellite. Deep space is filled with dangers. Huh. So it just flies around the ship and blows stuff up by the sounds of things. Well, kapow, there goes the boss. With my five, trusty five Pikmin kill squad. And I've got this annoying beeping sound in the background because I'm on low health. Um, but my feeling is that instead of trying to do the good old, uh... The old strat that I did in the last episode, which was try and time it so the Pikmin carry the part while the fire flame geyser thing is not going off. Instead of doing that... <laughs> and, um... Uh, killing all my yellow and blue Pikmin like I usually do. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take red guys instead because that That is the smart way to do things. I'm gonna get out uh, Let's get 50 Because I'm cool like that. I wonder if um, there's ever gonna be a time when I'm actually gonna take out a hundred Well, I'm assuming like um, The last level in the game I'm gonna need lots of Pikmin and I'm gonna sacrifice heaps of them as well 
I'm gonna laugh so hard if I get to the last episode, the, the final episode of, of my playthrough of Pikmin, and just manage to, um, like, kill every single one of my Pikmin in the last episode and just lose. <laughs> like, technically lose the game because I don't have enough, um, I don't have enough time to get more Pikmin to complete the last level. So, we'll get this stuff. So, we've got three guys here. Uh, did I grab them? Yes, so. So, we'll grab these nine guys. Oh, I'm gonna set myself on fire there. And we'll grab some of this stuff. There's still gonna be a bunch of Pikmin left over, hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> I love the sounds in this game, it's so good. Okay, so we're gonna use our Pikmin here to carry this part back to the ship, and then we're gonna be done with this place. There isn't really very many like big blocks that I can get. Got the last part, killed the boss with five yellow Pikmin. Um finally destroyed all those walls because there was a trillion bomb rocks all stuck in one place. I think that was pre pretty productive for one day. Oh, and there's some flowers here, so I may as well kill them. I think I'm down on blue Pikmin a little bit more than I am on the other colors. Yes, I am. So I'm going to take out like 20 blue guys. I love how they slide down the... um. Uh, I forgot about the leaf guys popping out. <laughs> okay, let's put away all the red guys that we can. Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna hear that that good music in a second. Dun, 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 Oh, cool. I actually got two bonus blue ones. Here we go. Whoa, that was a bit... <laughs> bit quick. <laughs> Space Pirates is a crossover to, to Metroid Prime. <laughs> 19 out of 30 parts. Okay, so I need 10 more. All of which are located in the new area that we've never been to before. So we should be able to discover some new and exciting things when we go there. Um, but we'll see how... Oh God, these guys always falling on their faces. Probably because their heads are so big. Evolution fail right there. Okay, so because we're never uh, going to come back here, regrettably we're going to have to pull all these guys out of the ground. But what I'm going to do... What I am going to do is I'm going to select all of these guys and then I'm going to spend the rest of this, this day today hitting stuff like this and the grass and just converting all these um, leaf guys that I just produced into flowers. Because flowers are cool and they can run fast and they don't fall over as much. <laughs> Which doesn't make sense because like surely a leaf's like nice and aerodynamic or something. You can use it as like... A these guys technically have tails on their heads, don't they? I think there's a reason that in nature no other animal has evolved a tail on their head, because it's a bad idea, okay guys? Unless, of course, you need to be pulled out by your head from the ground. I wonder if Pikmin are strong enough to pull other Pikmin out of the ground, or if in the wild, like, they just stay underground forever. Okay. So, we'll grab all you guys. We'll run over here. Look at how fast this flower guy is compared to we <laughs> compared to the rest. Whoa! <laughs> Look at how many flowers I just made just then. Wow. I think I just turned all of my guys into flowers. I did. Wow. Look at that! Amazing! Oh, I feel so good now. All of them got turned into flowers, so... What I'll do... Is... I will put these guys away. And then... I... Believe... What what type of guys did I just turn... I'm pretty sure I just turned a lot of yellow guys back into... Oh, no, no. I don't know what I'm doing. Look, I'll take out a hundred blue guys and hopefully somewhere in those hundred blue guys there is going to be some leaves. I really hope that I didn't just... Have I left four Pikmin out there? 
Oh god. They're stuck. I'm gonna get them in a minute. As long as they're in my grip, they should survive. Look! Ah, okay, cool. We got some leaves here. Some nice... Nice childish leaves here that we can... Well, I wonder if I can convert all of these guys. Go, go, go! Hmm. That was nowhere near as many as got converted by the other thing. So, uh-oh, we're running out of time. Well, that was a lot. Awesome, I think I just screwed up the sound because there were so many. Okay, so, oops. Uh, so they're just down behind. So, these guys, since they're all in my grip, should automatically... Oh god, I really hope that I didn't get it wrong in the last episode. I'm like, oh yeah, I got so many flowers, look at all these nice blue flower guys. You know, I don't have as many blue guys as the rest, so, you know, I should convert them into flowers. And then I just go to sunset and kill all 100 of them. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Okay. Let's hope. Ah, cool. Okay. Yep. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. Look at all those flowers. I'm gonna have a seizure. It's all shaking back and forth. How do they all fit in there? Maybe it's like a Pokeball. I don't think I really understood. Everyone understood how that worked. It was just one of those mystical things that just made sense for some reason. Like, yeah, they just get shrunk down and stay in there. <laughs> There's a wonderful cartoon, actually, of a Charmander, like, sitting in a chair with a nice pipe and, like, a hat just reading in front of the fire, and then gets, like, thrown out of the Pokeball. Okay. Ew, horrors! Oh god. <laughs> he's, he's scarred forever. I only blew up one, come on, man. Yeah, okay, so I worked that out, at least. Um, Pikmin population, 664. And I gained more than I lost in battle, which is always a good thing. So I've, ugh, but I've lost 220, and I left behind one, and I still feel bad about it. I feel much worse about the one left behind than I do about the 220 that I killed, actually. Okay, well, excitement in the air, guys. We've finished off... Uh, impact site. We have finished off Forest of Hope. So what we will do is we will continue for the first time to the Distant Spring, because I have never been here before. And chances are there are going to be some new horrible breeds of monsters that are going to kill all our Pikmin in one shot. So I'm just waiting to enjoy that. The Distant Spring. Okay, so where are we? This looks like a very, very watery map. So, what are we doing around here? Where are our parts? Oh god, this place is huge. Um, crap. Okay, well, I might go scouting. We've got some tadpoles here. Uh, we have a part up. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, they are- ah, oh, the- the bastards. Okay, so... What we have here... Is we have a situation where we need to get our yellow Pikmin up there. Unless... Ah, oh, no, I should actually be able to throw blue guys. We should be fine. Okay. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a sneaky strategy. We're gonna get, I'm gonna assume that I don't need more than 20, so I'm gonna take out 20 guys. I really hope that I don't need 30. And what I'm gonna do, I will show you. I will throw my blue guys up here. And I will get the guys who have been pushed off. And I will throw them up again. Are they just gonna continuously get pushed off? Is this like that game that you can play in the arcade where you try and put in money to like push the other coins out? 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them from this angle. So see they're blocked by the wall? They'll follow me now. So if I walk all the way, they should follow me around, blocked by the wall to the end. Yeah. Um, okay, so we'll go around the front here. Uh, no, come on, guys. <laughs> okay. So, that didn't work so well, but we'll try it again. And luckily, because we used blue Pikmin, that didn't involve, like, a mass, mass death there. <laughs> mass drowning. Oh, God. How can you trip over underwater? Explain that to me. How can you trip over underwater? You're so incompetent that you can trip over underwater. <laughs> Okay, we'll chuck these guys up and we'll try again. Okay. So, here we go. Ah, maybe I can do it this way. If I'm down here. No, doesn't look like it. Okay, so I'll come back. Oh, by the way, this is a question I wanted to ask you guys. Due to various Steam sales, I am now in possession of uh, the complete uh, DLC for Fallout 3 and New Vegas. I had the full games before, but I didn't. I didn't have the DLC. So maybe if I run back here and then and then up here, pick it up, pick it up, go guys! Uh, uh. Can I get enough onto it? What's it out of? How many do I need? Can I zoom out? 20! I can't throw guys up here. Um, that's okay. So I got 10 there. Here's the question. How many guys can I run along this path at once? Looks like about 5 or 6. Ah! Okay, so, I don't even know what direction they're going to go. Oh god, this is going to be horrible. But we got 10 up there so far. Um, using the weird strat. So, actually no, screw that. I got nothing to lose. We got nothing to lose. So we're going to take out 50 and we're going to... I'm assuming that we're going to be able to get another 10 onto there using... Somehow. <laughs> um... What was I talking about? Oh yeah, before I got distracted, I have the complete DLC for both Fallout 3 and New Vegas. And I've also been playing Day Z, or Day Z as Americans call it, uh, with my friends. Um, which is a zombie uh, survival mod of the game Armor 2. And I really like both the games at the moment, and I was wondering if you guys would be interested in me doing a Let's Play style thing of either of those games. So it, yeah, if you if you have an opinion, just let me know in the comments or send me a message or something because I absolutely love both the Fallout games and I'd like to play them again but I just don't know if it would be interesting <laughs> at all come on come on come on get on there yes all right repair type bolt hmm <laughs> this guy's got okay what I what I wonder is like this guy has all this amazing stuff, like the infinite energy generator, or the, the world peace solver, or like, you know, stuff like that. So what I wonder is, why didn't he have any kind of thing that could help him deflect a meteor? That's what I don't understand, like, why did he get hit with the meteor in the first place if he had all this amazing technology on his ship, like... All right. So, looks like an ordinary bolt. <laughs> I swear to God, this guy keeps getting sold stuff by by people who are just lying to him, and he just believes them. And he's like, "No, this but it looks like an ordinary bolt, right? But when you're not looking, it will repair everything." And you're like, "Sure, it will, Olimar." Oh God, frogs! I hate frogs. Uh, so I got three guys still out in the field, and it looks like they're all here. One, two, three, cool. So, one part down, million parts to go. Um, okay, so there's a part way out in the water. There's a part that looks like it's on the other side of a 
bridge that whoa what is that we got some more of these bugs are they just drowning do those bugs actually just dig out under the water and then drown and die <laughs> um so it looks like inside that okay so we've got another part here massage machine <laughs> okay, so we got a massage chair that we found. Now, guys, I'm just going to quickly pause while I discuss my strategy here. So, what we've got, we've got a blue flower, right? If we throw any color Pikmin into there, uh, they're going to turn to blue Pikmin. So, my feeling is, why do we actually need that? Unless this guy uh, breathes fire or something... Um, so first things first, we need to make this bridge unless we're going to carry this part back through the water. I really hope that we can't just carry this part back through the water because then I'm not going to be, not going to need to kill that dude. Or maybe he wakes up as soon as I start carrying the part and he just chases me and kills all my guys. Well, we will soon find out and I am enjoying the distant spring so far because... Uh, currently there are some parts that I can get that are quite easy, <laughs> that I, um, don't have to be too stressed out about it, and we love not being stressed out. Uh, sometimes games are very stressful, and it makes my hair grey. <laughs> but for the moment, we're okay, because I haven't yet discovered how I'm gonna have all my guys killed by that big red spotty guy yet. But rest assured, oh god, oh god, kill, kill! Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Where are your buddies now? Oh god, they're over there. Okay. But he's drowning anyway. And he's gonna try and fly, and then I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, that's right. So. I really hope that when I pick up this part, they're gonna carry it out through the water and not directly past this guy. But knowing Pikmin, watch this. They're gonna carry it directly past that guy. Here we go. Directly into the open mouth of that thing. Of course they would do that. Ah? Uh, wait. Can I actually just not wake this guy up? There are bomb rocks here. Do I need- do I even need to kill that spotty guy? Are they gonna try and carry it across the bridge and even though they go in water? Wow, Pikmin are actually so dumb. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. So soon enough, this bridge will be done. And in the meantime, I'm going to take these 15 guys. Try and kill this frog. Because I have a feeling he's going to be a meanie. And somehow try and kill all my Pikmin. And the less the better we've learned. Okay. Oh god. Is he just gonna keep jumping up? Is this just another one of those strategies? Oh god. Oh, lost a few there. Oh god. I hate frogs. No! Did I just throw a guy directly underneath him? Oh, man. So here we go. Slow and steady, as they say. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry all the strategies I use in this game are so boring, guys. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so basically, um... I have this thing where I make videos of me basically just doing nothing for half an hour. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> okay. We should be able to get this guy soon. Ah, oh, how's he not dead? Now, there's a thing in the in in there's a thing in the thing that says a thing. <laughs> no. There is a thing 
in the menu sometimes, which is like, oh, you know, you can, um, like these frogs, you can pin them down on the ground and it's, your Pikmin are heavy enough so they can't get up. But I tried that once. I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that if you just put heaps of Pikmin on them, they just, they can't get up off the ground and you just kill them. So I was like, oh, okay. So I did it with like 50. This is in a previous episode. I did it with like 50 Pikmin and the frog just jumped straight up in the air and just squished all of them. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to take that chance again. <laughs> There's no margin for error in this ridiculous series. Now I bet they're going to want me to move this frog out of the way or something. Oh god, so dumb. <laughs> so we've got another bip 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 bip. But, I swear to god, these frogs. Maybe red Pikmin are heavier or something and they can hold them down. Wow. Are these like the evolved version of those temples? Boop 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 do 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 goes so quickly sometimes. Okay. So what do we got? Massage machine. <laughs> Uh, he actually risks, like, several Pikmin died, like, probably 10 or so Pikmin died in recovering his massage chair. This guy's a terrible dictator. So it looks like we've got a big flying balloon thing that's somehow going to kill all my Pikmin. And if I'm not mistaken, yes, there is a part inside this giant balloon thing. So tomorrow we'll- oh god, they're chasing me. Tomorrow we will attempt to somehow kill the- giant balloon thing. <laughs> um, okay, well, it looks like we've actually done enough for today because any other parts that I try and get, I have a feeling I'm just going to accidentally kill myself because that... Wow, this place is actually pretty small. There's lots of parts within a small, small radius of each other. So I'm on day 18 and I believe I have 20 parts? 20-ish parts? So I'm going pretty well, two days ahead. I'm hoping I can get two or so parts tomorrow, but chances are for the like the next ten days I'll only I'll get zero. Like <laughs> I'll discover that after this, like every other part is impossible to get. So I need to steal the bomb rocks from near Do I need a th Ah yeah, if I need to carry a part. I'm just gonna go exploring for a bit. I am really scared of these red spotty giant slug things. Um We've got another big balloon guy. Don't tell me there's another part inside him. Okay, so we've got another big balloon guy as well as some weird... Oh god, this place is terrifying. <laughs> got all these weird, like, little crater things. So, there's a part in there. Got the two guys. So we've got some of those annoying flying things. What's this? <laughs> oh, the parts are getting more and more pointless as we go along. Pilot seat! Ah, oh, the memories of flying around in space and instead of paying my child support payments. So, we've got that one. We've got some more annoying frogs here, which I really hate. Ow. Is he gonna squish me? Good. Um, we need to destroy that gate, and then I have no idea how the Pikmin are actually gonna... Probably gonna go through that gate as well. Although, there is a bridge... There's a bridge to another part. So I might just grab that part the next day. That looks like a pretty safe one. Although, I do have no idea where I am. Where am I? Ah, I'm just out near- Whoa, there's one of those balloon guys right near the, um... Right near the onions. Ah, uh, this place is terrifying. Okay, I'm gonna go to the sunset. Good old sunset. Uh, ah, I am tired. I got up too early this morning. I am... Filming this Let's Play video before I go to work. I can upload it while I'm there. Because I love you guys. <laughs> okay, so. Where are we going to go? Our, our ship's looking pretty dope these days. Ah, oh, those guys. At least it wasn't those huge black and red spotty dudes. 18 days since impact. Huh. Virtually all. Some pieces that remain unaccounted for. There's one. <laughs> okay, and there should be eight more parts. So I lost nine guys in battle today. Didn't make any, but got two parts, which is pretty cool. Parts remaining nine, days remaining twelve. That's pretty cool. Oh, I got 21 ship parts now. Wow, I'm doing pretty well. Okay, 21 uh, ship, uh, ship parts, nine parts remaining, twelve days remaining. So 
if everything goes well, I should actually end up finishing this Let's Play at about episode 13 or 14, and uh, seeing as we're in episode 9 right now, that's actually pretty soon. Uh, but anyway, guys, I will be back with this next episode in about three days because currently my Metroid Prime playthrough is on hold because of sound issues. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it and have a good one. Bye!